back after a lovely seven day break to bring you more One Piece. Please consider supporting my work on Patreon, it's really needed right now and so appreciated you have no idea. Link below. <laughs> What's that I hear you say? Yet more realism mentioning how it's shallow waters and thus dangerous to pursue them? Yes, that's right. This felt like a good lord drop that built on prior mentions of this kind of thing, such as the investigator who came there for the purpose of sacking the commander, I believe. For context, Luffy is saying we just made that big hole, can't we escape and then this happens, but I adore how matter of fact he is in answering her so fast. Considering the entire U-turn moment was done by hand, that looked real nice. Such a nice touch to add in that the Navy are using the Ring of Bells to identify themselves to other nearby ships to avoid hitting one another. Once again, as I said in the last video, for filler content back in the day, no expense was spared when animating this arc by the teams. Great job on making this a genuinely tense series of moments at the start of the episode. Robin casually walking up looking all fine and dropping some great lore that she's learned while snooping. It's another solid touch of realism to find out that the Navy fell for the trick and have headed outside the base still looking for their ship. How much better is this than saying, oh, they must still be inside, let's turn back around. Pretty cool how the soldiers are shown as being different heights and builds. The morning's events not just being entirely forgotten about, and instead it has a lingering effect through the episode, like here. Oh. And there the last one is spread even further as she relents to their wishes to cook with his recipes, rather than just keep saying, oh no, they're bad pirates or whatever. I don't think I'll ever get bored of watching Nami using her brain to figure out how to make people do what she wants. It's a brand new video and you already know the chopper related win that that refers to. If you don't, you should go back and watch all the videos. Genuinely lovely that Nami wants to spend a ton of money on fully repairing the ship and then them talking about it, going back to the much earlier episodes. Such a blast from the past! <laughs> No one seems to believe him about the spirit or something that fixed the ship, so we got that reaction. Also though, all of the moments that came just beforehand of them remembering their adventures they've had thus far. Brilliant. Everyone really on board, not just because Nami says it to convince them, but because they love the ship. Oh, my heart! He's so adorable! He thinks Usopp is the world's greatest ship repairer! Oh, heck yes! I do believe he's just decided what job the next member of the crew is going to be good at. Love it! 
何重にも鍵のかかるこの保管庫しか考えられないさすがロビンちゃん Win number like four of me saying Sanji is basically me in this anime これで少なくともゴーイングメリーゴーまた奪われちまう心配はしなくていいぜ That's genuinely a really clever idea to just make it look at a distance anyway that it's a typical marine ship 黄金奪還の始まりみんな今夜零時から作戦決行するわよいい Just got a vibe. I totally get why people love this arc. Had it ended at the last episode, it'd be good. But the fact that there's more super high quality, I really love it. So friggin' adorable! Credit for kicking off the episode with no recap to make it even longer of an episode. For clarity, Usopp says he's worried about leaving the Mary alone, and then this is said, and all oh my days, Chopper is amazing. Someone mentioned this in my comments, and I thought it was nice that I too brought it up several times last video, so have another here for Usopp's defense of the ship. I also keep bringing this up when it happens, but after Nami took charge last episode, Luffy acted more in charge on the ship, leading to this, and now it's Usopp. <laughs> that relief, though. I don't know which is more cute, Chopper climbing Zora to get a better view of Usopp, or him also not being happy to be left alone. A nice callback to some 50 odd episodes ago. There are some wins which are a given, Nami and Robin looking good, Chopper being adorable and many more. This is another Chopper win, which just happens when it happens. Take that win! I said it a fair few times last episode, but the commander really is unique, isn't he? They really did such an amazing job of making this place feel huge and lived in. Even seeing this from the outside, a simple hallway in the base gives me that feeling. Nice bit of additional movement there, but also it's now like a chess match between these two as well. That's clever as well, and follows along nicely from the last win. The commander offers to put him in charge of an elite unit, and he says this because basically he wants no fault. A true commander, refusing to give up his men who threw him into the prison, taking the blame all upon himself. This arc really does just keep on getting better and better, doesn't it? Now he's throwing the most powerful squad in the whole place at our crew. Stroke of genius to add him in as an enemy to both the crew and the commander. I'd be a cruel, heartless demon if I didn't give him a win for that. My heart! I really, really like her. She's a stupidly great addition to the crew. I mean, my god, talk about being a perfect fit. If you forgot, his man there says the recruits want to be involved. He said no, it's too dangerous, but he's convinced by stating their love for the fortress. I just thought it's great law. <laughs> Not only did the scene look lovely and smooth, but it's cool to see gadgets from the last arc being used in this fuller one. 
that too, of course. Ugh, she's such a badass! They all are here, but she just looked awesome! They've got some great sounding tunes for this high stakes operation that I'm not sure I've heard before. Reminded me of climbing the VNC tower in Dying Light 2. Got me tense and hyped! Very brief watching pirates not running on the spot! Oh heck yes, two for two! Narayo, Omeshkurate, Motto Kunden Nikso Hagemundana. One of the best badass things Sanji has done, getting him out of the way whilst also teaching him a lesson. <laughs> what an awesome sight. Kind of reminds me of how I felt when I saw the golden bell. a win until they kept closing more and more doors and then that many people were there <laughs> this too <laughs> so much credit to luffy for intentionally avoiding every single person and firing above them here <laughs> That great evolution of the enemy getting better at dealing with his abilities since he first showed up. I really like that progression as it was touched on in the last video too. She might have my favourite Devil Fruit ability so far. It's so unique and massive credit to the team for coming up with this idea of how to use it. She's so awesome though! Half the win is for, again, the massive size of the impressive door, and the other half is for the twist. So much credit to not rely on recaps to fill a one to two minute void and lessen your workload by once again skipping any recap. He was so happy to be told to hold on to her that this happened. This is the thing that Luffy chose to focus on in this moment. Those three taking combat stances looked awesome, but also I wanted to again shout out the sheer size of the crowds of marines in this arc. So much time and effort. So funny to have Usopp still referring to him by the fake name. Nicely adding to that previous win regarding how clever I think it is to have the marines fighting among themselves to various degrees this filler arc. Jeez, that thing is huge too! Such a stupidly simple gag and yet so hilarious and unexpected that he'd fire it the wrong way. I mean, come on, get real. She never fails to entertain in the maze, does she? <laughs> Luffy ignoring everyone's comments about the kitchen being filled with marines, and that slab joke never fails to get me. It's one of the things I love about One Piece, characters really do change and grow over time, just slowly of course, and Chopper I do think has become more brave over time. <laughs> oh heck yes! I was genuinely really hoping to not see the last of these two, and here they are being brought back into it. Oh, not only is it sweet to see the father and daughter team, but also Usopp genuinely caring about his health. 
あの船は家だって<笑>いいえねえ It was already sweet, then this took it to the next level. She believes they want the gold for the ship, which in turn means a lot to her father. That mentality, I mean. Such a big fan of these long distance shots! Some very nice moves from Nami! Such brilliant looking damage effect animations there, something we don't see a whole lot of lately, so it meant a lot to me to see quite so much packed into the scene. One of those moments I appreciate so much because the gold was placed into the corner when they bashed through, not added for a laugh after the fact. Damn! Totally forgot about the nets again! Attention to detail that she and the waver were both wet given that they were just splashed in the water by explosions and such and everyone else is dry. This had developed into a minor JoJo styled situation that I couldn't see a way out of and bless her heart she did it! He is definitely going to have an ace up his sleeve, no doubt. But for now, a big fat win for them legit grabbing the gold and seemingly getting away. I'm so hyped! And now, just as great, they're all back to the ship, entirely complete as a unit again with the gold. Let's go! He's one of those dudes who is always so soft spoken that when he is serious it raises his voice a little it gets to you. I literally cannot think of a better way they could have done the reveal of their ship. For the final time of this most excellent filler arc, take one more win for going without that recap for more juicy content. Now that's a nice addition! Brilliant how they didn't make our crew clueless. Several of them are trying to use their heads to figure out why the marines would suddenly stop chasing them. Win number 13, maybe, of me saying Robin has the best ability. It is what I figured it'd be, but the way they explained it and planned it all out was still really well done. The damage caused is certainly taken seriously, which is decent, goodness me. <laughs> Color me shocked that this was the follow up as well, but it does make total sense and has thus created a brand new JoJo order! Yeah, <laughs> go on then. Ah, the JoJo situation just grew by like a factor of seven! Marine's not running on the spot whilst clearly worried about our crew a little bit. How the whole thing isn't treated as a joke of sorts and is instead taken seriously up to and including solid details on their surrender as a whole. <laughs> Instead of coming up with some weird plan, at least so far, they're set on using things from Sky Island Saga to set up their escape, which I think is for the best storytelling wise. That was bloody nothing short of brilliant. Everyone in the circle saying, it's gone, and Luffy casually being like, I've got it. So damn good. Tako-san, we'll see you again. Right?
Nagahana. My God, Robin has such a heavenly laugh, doesn't she? Doko kara arawareta no kana? Huh? Mada. The guy really is clever and always thinking outside of the box as he mentions how they got there and how they could seemingly leave. Oh damn, that was way better than I thought it'd be. Shows how much energy was stored in the thing and that dude is down there again with another giant rocket ready to fire. Hype! Legit, so clever for them to have thought up this escape plan, meaning the people who create the filler arc. They must be so proud of themselves even all these years later. I hope so anyway. I say again, the damage done to all of them holding it together just shows how much strength it took for Wiper to set it off three times! I think it was in total. <laughs> One of those brilliant moments Usopp totally steps up for the entire crew when the chips are down. That build up right there easily equals anything from any canon episode today and the movies. Nice to know that both he and his wife refuse to take down the pirates themselves. Amazing way to have them escape, I think. To have him, of all people, ruin what would have been a perfect plan by the commander. So in a weird way, it's like they both won, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Glad this old man got his moment in the sun with what he told everyone being clearly seen once again. <laughs> to the end, he was seriously unique. Not spitting venom at what happened, but accepting he got beat by luck. And to his credit, he gives props to those under him who worked so hard to try and capture them too. Glad he got what was coming to him all of this time, and by a source you wouldn't have expected it from. That was his primary goal. And I have to say, now he says that, it truly does feel that way. Literally everyone bar the Major worked together, in every branch, all over the fortress. <laughs> These two can absolutely have one more win. Really unique and great characters that served to massively expand the law on the Navy at this point in the story. Have one more for a brilliant end to a brilliant episode in filler arc. The best one so far. I totally get the hype. Very nice brand new OP which makes good use of new CGI introduced in the movies recently and then smashes into greatness in the second half with new story characters and action. Can't wait! I love how the canon episode beautifully lines up with the non-canon arc that just wrapped. Mm. Let's have a win for the first episode in which One Piece goes 1080p, aka HD. <laughs> Got some gorgeous sights ahead of us. <laughs> God, I love stuff like this. Usopp and Chopper down there by candlelight fixing the ship as they float still. <laughs> Luffy thinking that would provide the fuel needed to have it continue to float. First of all, Chopper is so sweet, but secondly it's another instance of the crew taking care of the animals who've aided them during their journey. Being nice to animals is always a win. And then we 
get a lovely farewell, which just makes it even better to my mind. <laughs> the fact that Sanji, Nami, and Robin have all changed their clothing already. Away a solid reminder of the dangers of the Grand Line. Glad that's never been forgotten by Oda over time. <laughs> How amazing is that? They're not just completely forgotten about, gone forever. <laughs> She's still Kawaii though. Oh, it's the return of this guy from that big meeting before Sky Island really kicked off. Now it makes sense why they're fighting. He's controlling them. <laughs> this for me just went to show how strong this guy is that he can control an entire crowd like this without effort. Shows how evil he is, and I'm over here just sad not to hear my boy Knuckles' voice again in this. Pretty cool to know that all of the things Bellamy said to our crew and everyone around him actually originated from this guy. That scene looking nothing if not stunning. My word, these things are huge! Getting to see what a pirate crew that is the opposite of the Straw Hats is like. Total chaos! Oh, so much hell yes! Getting treated to a brand new ad break sequence! Robin just straight up ignoring Usopp's demands of her belting out a specific thing when she sees a new island. <laughs> so easy to forgive. <laughs> but also, let's be fair, it's what makes him such a lovable guy and why they follow him as the leader happily. <laughs> Trust Oda to not have that ship appear and disappear for lols, but actually have it grasp some solid meaning not yet known to us. I can't believe someone actually addressed this for the first time. This is absolutely brilliant. Love it, just like when they landed on Sky Island and did pretty much the same thing. Such a cool added touch to see Zoro sorting out the ship back there. <laughs> I think it's super safe to say that this is not at all what I thought would suddenly appear on this island. <laughs> I have no words for the fact that all three of them immediately climbed it. <laughs> right away, there's some decent lore. The long apple, the long bear, the super long trees. Very cool. I'm utterly convinced at this point, this is Luffy's idea of a prank or choke. He doesn't do it often, but I love it when he does. Luffy immediately getting along with a lovely and smart boy. <laughs> Oda decided to have the crew land on this island and then pack it full of jokes! This is really the kind of visuals they wouldn't have been able to do justice to early on. This anime is a great showcase for how animation has progressed over time, I think. <laughs> oh snap, it's another pink nice to animals is always a win! Win! <laughs> This turned into a fight against a bamboo shoot all of a sudden! <laughs> Chopper looking after the welfare of the horsey whilst not running on the spot! 
竹を割ったら精霊が現れた<笑> Totally unexpected plot twist Three wins here. Firstly, Robin has changed her clothes again already. Secondly, it's a Max wins for a massive plot twist. I thought the guy in the train was a big deal. Imagine what I thought when this suddenly happened. Such a huge ship, too. Let's go. Goodness me, that was funny. He says, Long time no see. They say one by one they don't know him, and he says, No wonder I don't recognize you. The old man who runs the bookstore in Persona 3 Reload. <laughs> that makes way more sense than him living in a bamboo shoot. <laughs> Again, too long to show, but he was up there for 10 years and on ever growing bamboo stilts, and I wasn't going to win it until he told us how he got food. No mention of water, but hey ho. Again, wouldn't normally get a win, but God help me, I do just enjoy stupid jokes like that. See now, again, that normally would get one win, but they really tapped into my fondness for the crew, also showing all of their clothing changes over time. I absolutely loved that one. Easily, Max wins. <laughs> Little edit there in the middle to just show how unique the inside of his house looks. It's once again another instance of Oda just really thinking outside the box and making it unique. Also, for the first time maybe ever, hopping back 15 seconds, the house itself is totally unique too. Back to going forwards. <laughs> Usopp progressively getting more and more annoyed at having to remind him that he was in the air for 10 years. Usopp also protecting Luffy from himself with that epic slap. This must be the third or fourth time Chopper has called in panic for a doctor. Great piece of lore there regarding the land mass of the island and how it changes over time and allows for them to migrate around the place. This is one of those times that makes the world of One Piece feel so huge it's unreal really. Even with a horse, it'd take him five years to catch up to his people. That's how big this one island is! Luffy showing such a lovely side to himself that he doesn't want this old man, who he only just met, to be alone for the next 20 years. <laughs> that is pure old-fashioned loveliness in the first degree, that is. That was his master, so I'm not walking on the spot too. Yeah, take another one for that, because it's not just him saying thanks for waiting 10 years, but some realism is injected via the mentioning of cold, damp days with no company. Still, she waited. Even further, the last win is spread by showing they all left and tried to get Shelly to follow, but she refused. This kid also wanted to stay. Now likely 18 or so, I'd assume. Ah! Brought a tear out of me seeing her all alone like that, and actually through the years in different weathers. Oh, so easily take one for that. The stark contrast between those times and these now so full of joy. Oh my god, I loved that. Easy Max wins. For a moment, I thought they legit shot it and my heartness stopped. Thankfully, it's just a net, but I felt every ounce of Luffy's anger there at the end. 
しいものはすべて手に入れる男だ<笑> The new voice of Igor in Persona 3 Reload! Wow, that's two Persona type wins this video! 我々フォクシー海賊団、麦わらの一味に対し、And here we have the next big part of this arc, and maybe saga, probably just arc, but let's freaking go! Brilliant! Just two episodes in, and already Oda makes sense of the scene we witnessed of the pirate crew with no navigator or a captain. Other than the nose and the fact that she's an enemy, annoying Kawaii win! What I liked about this is how it was done on the word of a pirate rather than some weird dome or something which stops them from leaving after agreeing, you feel me? Never ceases to amaze me with just how cool the dude is. Sleepy nonsense! So good! Two wins here. Firstly, I think this is a clever idea, and something that had likely have come about in the real world when pirates were everywhere. Secondly, it's how each member of this crew is looking totally different to one another, a continued long standing tradition. I really gotta point out how good these types of shots now look in beautiful HD. Trust Zoro to point this out because their crew means far more to them than it being purely about numbers. Ugh, love this crew so much. And here we go, the games begin. Can't wait to find out what they're gonna be all about though. That super quick turnaround was so unexpected. Pretty sick that this is able to turn into a whole thing and purely because of the huge size of the ship's crew. Nice little real world addition there. It basically means shipwrecked or at the bottom of the sea. I think I recall that in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, maybe. Even with the black ear type uniform, they all look distinct. <laughs> Again, I'm glad that the rules are kinda loose. I think that's far better for a comp between pirates. You don't have to say yes, you can pick how many games you do, and so on and so forth. Hungly <laughs> Luffy, I swear, would add up the three fingers, but also the win is for this becoming a much bigger deal with three unique games created in the wild and wonderful brain of Oda. Would you look at the amount of detail on their ship? That's crazy good! Toots and Dorbs! Darth Weirdo, Fiji, Nick Windham, The Element Taylor Wars, Christopher Willis, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Fancy Turtle, Keban, Mini Masher, Marquez, Nozomi, Orkeeper, Otar Bananisi, Steelers, The Epic Commander, Bird Without a Word, Brandon Creer, Brian Bayard, Cameron, Christian Tawasa, Commander Cyrus, David Mayer Olmos, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Aaron Winters, Guru Guru, James Tafoya, Jor Edvinson, Kevin Halston, Comfroik, Kylie Welp, Luis Benito, Mr. Mansu, Knightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Ruby Rose, Sato Goyari, Zyonx 44, Sean, Starkip, The 100s, Tiger Lily Warrior, A Joker, Alexander Schwartz, Ali 50, Amadillo, Brainless Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dante Soul, Dante Space, Doctor Bloody Soul, Devon, Dragon Defender, Iso, Francie, Garrett Vamish, Gibbs, Hoved Lowe's Ritter, Hunter Miranda, Isel Caldera, Jason Davies, John John, Jaffa6263, Kai Wolfspring, Kelnock, Kevin Nelter, Kevin 102, Knuckle Duster, Kai 158, Kyle Jones, Laxor, Laxus, Liam Gugatti, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Marvin, Matthew Blancet, Michael Lewis, Motivirum, Moudini, Mr. Firecall, Nathaniel Gregamosa, Natsu Dragneel, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, Nuvagal, 9028, Ollie the Mighty, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Oscar I. Lopez, Owen Haloran, Q Flash, Chris Harris, Ryan DeVeries, Sakomi Aorum, Sarcastic Truth, Snowy, Stan, Storm 970, TRS, Thrasher 340, Will Sass, Willyman.